Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. Right now we're taking a look at the TechLest X5 Pro running PCSX2. This is the 1.21 build. And this is God of War 2. Just really quick, I'm just gonna hammer on the square button. So right here is frame rate, here is use uh, CPU temperature. The important part right here is the package power, which is six and a half watts. These are thermaling indicators, which we're not. And then the GPU clock rate. My controller seems to have... Let me pause this real quick so I can get my controller under control. There we go. That was kind of weird. My controller just kind of got locked in a certain, like, <laughs> position. <laughs> so frame rate's pretty good. We're pretty close to staying at 60 frames a second. We're dipping a little bit. R1. Okay, yes, I understand. And again, this is at the normal power level for the Core M7Y30. It can go up to 15 watts in terms of uh, TDP, so you can get you know higher CPU or higher GPU. Uh, in this particular instance, I think we need considerably higher CPU frequency because 450 GPU uh, megahertz on the GPU is just like half clocked, so the GPU is not really getting stressed at all in this particular emulator. The frame rate seems pretty good. We're at the two minute mark. I'm gonna cut this off in a moment and we'll go to a. Uh... Oh snap. The other thing is that I do record, uh, it has a 10 minute limit on my phone, but it allows me to record at 1080p at 60 frames a second. So you can actually see this running at 60 frames on YouTube when it gets uploaded. So yeah, for the most part, it's running pretty steady at 60 frames a second. Um, here, let me just go ahead and play it a little more while we get a little more action. Some outside scenes. Yes, okay, roll, I understand. Again, you can go just look at frame rate. This game is crazy for a PS2 game. Alright, I'm I played this too much. Frame rate's pretty good. Seems to be completely playable. So let's pause this and pick another game. Okay, as per requested in the comments when I asked it yes ex asked it uh, asked yesterday was Devil May Cry series. So this is Devil May Cry one. I didn't want to really you know stress it too much. I wanted to just Kinda see how it could fare. I love skippable skippable cutscenes. Oh, it seems like it's kinda goofing up a bit. It's been a long time since I played this game. So frame rate is reported at sixty frames a second, but this does not feel like sixty frames a second. That looks fine, but I feel I feel like I'm going sluggish. Perhaps there's like frame skipping going on to keep it at sixty. This is uh, version 1.21 of PCSX2. Right now the internal resolution is 320 by 200, I believe. Yeah, this is definitely not running at 60 frames a second. Let me take a look at the settings real quick. Let me pause this. Okay, so I set it to aggressive. And it's definitely running a lot better right now. I believe during this part I actually have to get... It's been a while since I played this game. Might have to pause it real quick because I think I have to 
Just get some orbs. I don't want to waste a bunch of time in me just running around. Alright, let me pause real quick while I collect these orbs. Alright, so I'd gotten past that part. Getting orbs. I really like the direction of Devil May Cry. And how it had the kind of way more action-oriented Resident Evil style instead in terms of fixed camera. I think we're gonna be able to get some action going here. It's been a long time since I played this game. It's crazy how you can completely forget a game. I'm pretty sure I actually beat this game. <laughs> Didn't want to fall down that hole, I just wanted to be shooting in the air. Let's go back upstairs. How satisfying is that? I'm gonna have to shut this off in a moment so that we can do the other thing. The other requested game to try was Tekken 4, and I haven't played a Tekken game since Tekken 2, so it's gonna be a ways away. I have to collect some stuff. Alright, so this is another game that runs seemingly really well on PCSX2. This is the aggressive settings. I'm gonna pause it and set up Tekken 4 now. This is Tekken 4. The game is fine. The arcade. And Paul is super easy. I don't really remember how to play this game. I don't even know if there's the 10 hit combo anymore. I think I remember it. Oh, it's starting to slow down for some, or it feels like it. I don't remember how to do it, the 10 hit combo. The game seems largely playable, though there is like this weird frame dip that is happening. I'm not sure what's causing that. Yeah, no, you can see it. Oof, what is that? Can I... I can't see anything. I was hoping to, like, remove the background. Oof. This is running real bad. Let's kill him real quick and see if we can get to another stage. Oh, goodness, it's slowing down so bad. All right, let's see if we can... All right, there's 40 seconds. Hopefully we can start the next scene so we can see if it was just the, the stage that was causing the frame dip. So this is PCSX2 version 1.21, running aggressive settings. Largely, it seems to be working well, and this is at 7 watts. No, it's already slowing down. This game... It shows it at 60 frames a second, but there's definitely some frame skip going on. Feels kind of gross. Alright, uh, the camera's going to be turning off because it has a limit of 10 minutes at uh, 1080p60. Oh, please kill it before.